Welcome everyone to another graphics tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to improve the performance of this. So basically if we were to say double the size of this map it would be very slow and laggy. In fact you can see a little bit of that right now. Um, so what we're going to do is basically make it so it only loads in the part of the map that it needs to uh, use. And so um, first starting out what we're going to do after I stop this here is add in a new class. And that class we'll call map square. Let's see if we can find oh no no not there, right here. And we can select class here. And we'll call it uh, I guess map square. And this is just part one to set up in order to get things working because um this is gonna be probably kind of a complicated tutorial. So there will be a part one and part two. So after you have the map square class defined, what we need to do is set it up to contain all the values, such as the texture and um, and, and also whether it's going to be a wall or if it's what its position on the map, what sort of terrain it has, all these different sort of things. So first thing we're gonna do is make this public. So we have public functions and inside without having some sort of conflict. So now what we want to do is go down here and put a bitmap. Now in order to do that we need to use, so we're using systems dot, um, I think it's drawing. Yes, I think so. Let me check. Yes, it's drawing. And then what we're going to do here is go map there it is now and we'll call this text or texture and we need a color in case you don't want to provide a, a bitmap you just want to provide a color for the texture um, we'll call that C and we need a public int x and a public int y and um, that's the position on the map where this square is located. Um, now, these are public so that they can be accessed without having to like return them through a function. So for instance, if I was to create a new instance over here, a map square right here, or actually we'll do it inside, inside here. If I was to do map square, ms equals new map square and I don't oh I don't I haven't defined a constructor but we'll see if this actually works. So ms dot x is right there. So now it's accessible as you see x and y are accessible without having to call some sort of function to get that value back. This is zoomed in a little bit far. Alright now next thing is do a pooling value as to whether it's a wall or not. Um, that way, if we want, we can make collision on any square. Now that we have that done, we'll can do the constructors. So public map square. This one's going to have a int x. Uh, INTY and then uh, a bitmap texture texture like that then in here um, text is equal to texture and then this dot x is equal to x this dot y is equal to y. Now the reason that I have this dot here is because this name and the name of oops and the name of this one and this one are exactly the same. And then this one, this one are exactly the same. This is to tell them apart. Now now that the constructor's done, 
We also want to do a constructor from color so that we can define a color instead of having to make a graphic for every texture we want. So we'll do that and we'll do a color, we can call it texture2. And then here, z equals texture. Now, if we say call this here, then this color will not be defined. Um, so we're just going to set it to, to null, that way there's actually something defined for it, so c equals null. And then down here we'll do texture equals null, or text equals null, just like that. Oh, we'll just color dot white, because I guess that's not a nullable class. All right, now we need to make some functions to return some values. So we're gonna, and also to set some values. So we'll do public bool is wall. And then this will return is wall, just like that. That way we can tell whether it's a wall or not. Oh, there's ambiguity. We need to call it something different. Oh, we'll do a capital I, just like that. So if it is a wall, it'll return true, else false. Now here we're going to public assign wall pool um, is wall. Well, actually, wall state. And then we need void in there. I forgot a void. Just like that. And here, what we'll do is um, just assign that. So um, is wall is equal to wall state. Just like this. Now that that's done, um, we have one more thing to do. And that the last thing that we need to do is um, a public bitmap. Give a graphic so that it returns the image that needs to be drawn to the screen. So if text is equal to null, so there's no texture, we need to return a color so bitmap b equals new bitmap 1 1. It doesn't matter what the width and height is because it'll be drawn to a rectangle when it gets to the screen anyways. And then here we'll do um, graphics gb is equal to graphics.fromImage um, b and then gb.clear and c is the color I think. Yeah. And then we'll do return b, just like that. So this will draw us an image to return if there's no texture. And if there is, we just do a return text, just like that. All right, now that this class is done, our map square class is done, we need to now generate the map. Um, and that's going to be done with a two-dimensional array. So we'll need to go back to here, and up here we're going to define it. And we'll actually be able to delete all this later, but I won't do that yet. So now we do map square. Do a comma, just like that. And, well, map square, and then we call it, um, we'll just call it mp for map square. Or, well, we'll just call it map, because that would be ms, but whatever. Just like that, and now we need to define that. But first, we need to do a method to generate our map. 
So and we'll be able to delete all of these later because we won't be using them. So now we'll do uh, public map square. So the type is going to be the same as what we had before, two dimensional array. And then um, call it generate map, just like that. Now we need a width in in the amount of squares it's wide, and then a height in the amount of squares it is high. So basically, think of it like a rectangle where each position in that rectangle is a square. So if we put 10 in for width and 10 in for height, we'd have 10 squares by 10 squares. And now the image width, which would be drawn to the screen, the size of the squares on the screen. So, yeah, or we could do square width. And then um, in here, we need to specify what sort of terrain that we want to be generated into the thing. So, but right now, the only bitmap, we only have one bitmap image in. So we'll just do one here. Later we'll change this to array and have several different ones. And then texture. Just like that. And now the next thing to do is make this generate the map. So what we're going to do is first define another one of these two-dimensional arrays, call it MP, it's new, ah, not a capital N there, new map square, just like that. Um, and inside of here, we place width and height. just like that. And then we turn underneath MP, and then in between here we have it generate it. So we know for statement, INTI, we'll do X and Y just because it makes more sense. X is equal to zero, while X is less than width, X increment by one. And then inside of that for statement, we need height to be done. So y plus y, just change this over. Oops, and then we need height here. Height, just like that. Then in here, we need to find a new one. So mp, then we'll do x, y, just like that equals new map square and for individual identification like this we don't, we don't do a dimensional array here we just do a new type of that and then we put in x and y in fact i'm wondering if i actually need these considering it's in the information right here so i might consider removing that but for now it's there and then we do um texture just like that. Now later we'll vary this up and we'll def we'll do some if statements to define whether the texture is say dirt or grass or rocks or whatever. Um, but right now that's just how it is going to be. Now that should be generating. Um, uh, we probably need to call the generation function up here or actually method. They're considered methods in C sharp. I don't know why. Basically the same thing. So underneath these things, which will be removed later, we'll go here and we'll go. Um, I called it map, didn't I? Yes, map equals generate map, and we'll do 200 squares by 200, which is much larger than what we had on the screen previously, and the square width will be 40, I think, like it was before. And the texture will be T. Uh, well, let's see, what, what did I call it? Texture grass, that's it. Um, just like that. 
So now, unfortunately, we can't really see the effects of what we've done right now. But basically, the idea is, and it should still be generating just like it was before. The idea is, instead of going up here and having um, it end and be just blue in the background, the map will be large enough that it'll just continue. And so what will happen is uh, you'll have a, a basically unlimited map. I mean, there's a limits to it where the where the size of the the function can't be, or the size of the two-dimensional array can't be any larger than that in X and Y. But I think it's somewhere around like 100,000 or something. So I could have up to 100,000 squares wide, and it should not, it shouldn't be laggy anywhere in there because it only has to load part of that. Um, so unfortunately, there's not a lot that can be seen by what we did, but this is the setup for um, uh, be beginning to have a almost, well, a much larger map. So basically, I'll do a little recap. What we did today was made a generate map function, which will be improved later to include more textures and walls. Um, we also went over here and made a map square function. Um, that basically stores all the data for each square on the map. And then also we uh, used our um, created generate map function or method, whatever you want to call it, and set it to map value, which is right here, a two dimensional array. And that's it for now. I will be back with part two, which will have the actual graphics being displayed with the larger map and everything. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave comments, tell me what you want to see. Um, that's all for now.